this video is designed to develop some of the ideas of the reproduction principle as proposed by Walter Russell. It has some quite profound implications, particularly when we realize that as human beings present in a physical interface, that we have the ability to be both receivers of cosmic information and tr transmitters of cosmic information. We, for example, are constantly radiating our state of mind to the entire universe. Now, all motion within the universe of opposed motion broadcasts its condition, its state of mind, if you like, to all other states of motion. To broadcast implies to radiate. So as human beings, we are constantly radiating our state of mind out into our environment. And that radiative information is being condensed by our fellow man and the environment in general. This implies then that our radiative emanations are reproduced and regenerated within other physical entities. It is our state of consciousness or the development of our consciousness, our current state of development, that allows us to intercept and interpret a greater portion of the field that is surrounding us constantly. Cosmic mind is broadcasting a bandwidth containing infinite information right now. There is no past or future. Cosmic mind is able to broadcast its entire creation idea in an instant from every point in the universe. It is the state of our consciousness development that allows us to interact with that infinite field. We can therefore, as a result of our own personal development, interact with a greater portion of that field. The more of the field we can condense within ourselves, the more enlightened we become. To grow spiritually implies that we develop and grow our internal circuitry. We increase the diameter of that circuitry from very narrow gauge wire or wiring into a system that is capable of carrying a much higher current. Cosmic knowledge radiates at a much higher frequency. We have to learn to grow within ourselves so that we can interpret and condense that high frequency. We therefore need the equipment within ourselves, within our physical selves, to be able to do that. It is development of our spiritual growth that will enable our internal wiring and circuitry to develop to such an extent that we can handle the cosmic flow of information at a much broader bandwidth than we possibly do at the moment. Infinite potential and infinite possibility is already surrounding us, and it is up to us to work on our internal development so that we can interact with more of that infinite field at any one time. We are all familiar with the idea that a radio station or a TV station can broadcast a signal far and wide. In the case of a radio station, it broadcasts a very specific frequency at any one time. Now, it doesn't matter how many radio receivers intercept that signal. The original signal sent by the station is reproduced inside every radio receiver. The radio receiver is acting like a condenser so that it reproduces inside itself an exact copy of the original signal. The original broadcast signal is never consumed by the receivers taking in and condensing that signal. Each radio is acting independently to condense a copy of the original signal within itself. So if we imagine for a moment that a radio station is broadcasting a radio station and it is broadcasting one specific signal, provided the radio is tuned to that frequency, it will be able to condense the signal within itself. The radio receiver can cope quite well because it only has to decode one particular frequency and it can do that by tuning its condenser to that frequency. But imagine if the radio tower was broadcasting multiple frequencies at the same time, like multiple genres of music, uh, plays, documentaries, news items, weather forecasts, all simultaneously being broadcast. The radio 
could only selectively pick one of those. But imagine if the radio could actually decode all of those signals at the same time. This is essentially what Cosmic Mind is doing every day. Every moment, every point in the universe is a universal transmitter, which is capable of broadcasting infinite possibility. We as human beings, being electrical receivers, are, mu are much more capable of downloading a, a wider bandwidth than our typical radio system. Our consciousness or our development of our consciousness allows us to interact with a much, much broader bandwidth. Our ability then is intrinsically linked to the development of the electrical circuitry within our uh, minds and within our physical selves. If the wiring for that electrical circuitry is very, very thin, then our ability to interact with infinite possibility will also span a very, very narrow bandwidth. If our level of consciousness growth and development has in fact had a chance to grow during our lifetime, then we have a greater ability to decode much more of the universal source that is surrounding us constantly. Walter Russell is attempting to teach us of our connection to that source, how we can become condensers of infinite potential and infinite frequency. It is up to us to be able to, to grow and, and allow our circuitry to develop from very, very narrow gauge wire capable of decoding a very narrow bandwidth into, into circuitry and wiring that can handle a really high current. This is what cosmic consciousness is. It's the ability to be able to handle a high current of all knowledge directly from source. It is this characteristic that sets some people apart from others. Tesla, for example, was someone who could interact with a greater bandwidth and therefore be able to create as the creator does. It is through our everyday experiences through our sensed experiences and how we react to those sense experi sensed experiences that enables us to grow our internal circuitry and wiring, to enable us to become more cosmically enlightened and to be able to interact in a much more efficient manner with Source. Each one of us is at a different stage of development. There is no right and wrong level of development. We will all reach the maximum level of development in our own time. The generative growth cycle spans many lifetimes and growing sequence will be different for different people. If you wish to play concert piano, for example, that idea is immediately mapped out and patterned at source. It is the level of your own desire, internal desire, which is an indication of your direct connection to source that will drive you to reach that goal. If that level of desire is very high, you cannot fail but to reach that goal. However, if your level of desire is weak, then the chances are you will not achieve your initial thoughts. One very important outcome of this reproduction principle, as proposed by Walter Russell, is that there is actually no past and no future. There is and can only be and now, Cosmic Mind is already broadcasting infinite possibility right now. It's, it is our ability to interact with that infinite possibility is what creates the experience that we actually have through our sensed physical body. We can choose to have a very positive interaction with infinite source, or we can choose to have a more negative interaction. That choice is ours. You must remember that the way we think and the way cosmic mind thinks is exactly the same process of thinking. There aren't two types of thinking. So what we imagine in our minds and project out into our environment is what we create. If our desire is to create positivity, then we will project that into our environment. The reproduction principle again will kick in and that positivity will be regenerated in other people around us exactly the same way as the radio condenser condensed within itself the transmissions from the radio tower. 
we create our own experience. And if we choose to create a very positive experience and everyone around us doing exactly the same thing, because like attracts like, we will therefore increase our own positive charge within ourselves. That is, our, we will have an enhanced experience. This is what an awareness of cosmic consciousness is. It's when people thinking alike create an energy and a field which benefits everyone so that the, the overall positivity field is greater than the sum of the individual parts.